I've been wanting to do this video for a really long time and I was super inspired by my good friend Sierra Schultze here on YouTube who did this video maybe like a year or two ago and I thought it would be really fun to look back, reflect, uh, have a heart to heart and a chat about my old Facetuned photos. Um, I used to facetune the shit out of my photos, full disclosure. I haven't facetuned a photo since probably like 2018 maybe. I am so glad for that, but I really used to go in on the facetune like so hard. So I was actually making a TikTok the other day, which by the way, if you aren't following me on TikTok, I make one like every three months or something like that, but it's really fun for me. So make sure you go follow me. But I was going through a bunch of old photos to make a TikTok and I noticed there were so many old photos that I facetuned to death. So I thought it would be kind of funny to react to them because I thought I was like Joanne the scammer. Like I was just pulling this like whole scam off on everyone. And it was probably so, so very obvious that I was facetuning all of my photos. So let's go on a walk down memory lane. I feel like this is also a moment for me to reflect. Um, I can laugh at it and I can, you know, be like, haha, but there, it's really sad. It's sad that I felt the need to distort my body. It's sad that I felt the need to blur my face to where it looked like I didn't have pores. There were so many different things that we'll get into in the video. Um, and it's like everything that's wrong with society. You know, there's so much pressure on women in particular to look a certain way, the sort of standard of beauty. And I want to like shatter that. So I'm looking at this and I may laugh. I just, also want to appreciate that I'm in a better place now and I'm in a place where I'm able to look back on that and be like that was ridiculous girl what were you doing so we are gonna scroll back through my camera roll here and look at <laughs> Oh my God. Some of my best work, I will say, uh, in my humble opinion. And we're starting all the way back in 2016. This was August of 2016. Wow. This is actually so crazy because I did a video where I reacted to my old skinny photos and it's bizarre to me that I thought I was so overweight in this photo, which by the way, that is all just fat phobia. Like me and my constant obsession with not getting fat was literally just simply me being fat phobic. And the part that's like kind of funny is that I was just so thin. Like I don't know what planet I was living on. But anyways, this is really funny in particular because I remember at the time I was dyeing my own hair. I don't know why I was doing that, but I was like bleaching my own hair at home and I was doing this like om ombre thing. And as you can see, my ombre is kind of like looking jank. And that's because I facetuned it. <laughs> like, I completely facetuned my hair. I also facetuned this photo. Like I tried to like blend it all together. Why would I facetune the color of my hair? Like I was insecure with my roots. And so I like lightened them. You can tell that that is not a like normal color of human hair. And there's like four different colors happening here. I did things like sharpen my eyes lashes in every photo because I wanted my eyes to pop. I don't remember if I facetuned my body in this. I feel like I definitely facetuned my legs like to make them look smaller, which is so dumb. Like, why did I do that? I'm not blaming myself because again, I fully recognize and appreciate the fact that I have learned a lot and I was under a lot of pressure by men, society, everything, social media, but it's pretty wild to look back at these pictures. Like I literally don't know her. I don't know who this person is. Very bizarre, not sure why I went so hard on the face tune here, but there you have it. We're starting off small. We're gonna get bigger, don't worry. <laughs> this next photo is again, I think this was like the same weekend. Yeah, this is in Nashville as well, August 21st, 2016. And I remember wearing this flannel around my waist because I was like, no one can see my waist. It's so big. Like I need to hide it with this flannel, which is the dumbest thing ever. I look really cute. Like my hair is popping. I can't believe my hair got this long. It was so long. That was no extensions or anything. But again, I fucking face tuned my hair. Like why? <laughs> I literally changed the color of my hair. What am I doing? I do also remember very vividly that I sharpened my sunglasses in this video. That was a huge part. And I smoothed out a lot of my back. Like if there was any kind of like dimple or like super big freckle or something, smoothed all that out, which is so dumb. Definitely used to smooth the shit out of my legs. Oh my God. That is not what my legs look like. I have like strawberry legs or like, I guess follicles, like hair follicles, <laughs> like a human being has. And it's so funny because I was so insecure about that. I remember I used to face tune my legs in like every photo. Cause I was so scared that like someone was gonna see that I had hair follicles. Like, 
the audacity that I had, I swear. And I have a lot of love for this person looking back. I just feel sad that like I felt the need to facetune myself so much. I think I also definitely facetuned my stomach to look smaller. Like I would like, like pinch in my waist and stuff. I think at the time I just thought it was like no big deal, but it was making me then do that with every photo following, if that makes sense. I had started it so I had to keep it going because I had to keep pretending that my body looked that way, if that makes sense, ridiculous. Next up, we have a picture. I'm pretty sure I printed this picture and sent it to like my entire family as a Christmas card. It's me and my dog and I'm, <laughs> I'm flabbergasted. I absolutely facetuned the shit out of my face and I don't understand why. Like my face does not look like that. I have a lot of texture, I have wrinkles. I'm coming to terms with it. I even facetuned my chest. Like I have freckles on my chest. I facetuned my freckles out. Who is she? Definitely face tuned my legs. You can for sure tell. I used to just go through and like any little thing that showed sign of like human life had to go. It was gone. And look at my dog. Look how she's looking at me. She loves me so much. She's looking at me with such adoration and she doesn't care. <sighs> what an angel. Pinching in my waist and my legs was my go-to and then definitely just like pff, blurring out the face to where it, I, I don't look human. Very, very bizarre to look back on this. Next we have a photo. This is now in December. Oh, I'm sorry, November of 2016. And I went to this bar and they do like Christmas really big every year. I went with my friend and I went into this bar and I took this adorable photo. My hair looks poppin'. I look cute as hell. I got my little flannel on. I'm Christmased up. And then you go to my face and I just completely face tuned it. I think I even like face tuned my hands. Was I okay? And I definitely specifically remember face tuning my lower stomach. That was a huge point of contention for me. It still is to be honest. And you can see where the wall like doesn't look the same. You can see that I have warped the wall. It, it's it's funny to look back on cause I'm like, bitch, what were you doing? But like it is, it is sad. Cause I looked so cute. Like I didn't need to face tune. It was just like such an unnecessary thing. And then it created again, this sort of like false standard of beauty that I needed in my head dumb. Next, I actually posted this on my Instagram. I think it might still be there. I was, oh my gosh, <laughs> ah, 2016 was a time. On top of face tuning like every single image, I was also obsessed with false lashes and filling in my eyebrows so intensely. I basically was trying to do everything I could to not look like myself. And that's really sad. I was obsessed with lashes. I felt so insecure if I wasn't wearing lashes. And I'm talking like these type of lashes, like these tarantula lashes. Um, I wore them every single day. I wore them to Target, I wore them to the grocery store. I wore them every day. Day. And it became that same thing where I felt like I relied on them to feel beautiful and makeup is just for fun I'm not one of those people that like makeup shames or even if you want to get like plastic surgery or whatever I think it's all whatever feels comfortable to you and whatever makes you feel confident But it's important to me anyway that I feel beautiful without it uh, and that I don't need it to feel beautiful And that's sort of where I was at with this like I felt so embarrassed if anyone saw my real eyelashes because this was I feel like right around the time where people started getting like those really long lash extensions and I couldn't afford it and yeah that's just the first thing I noticed then <laughs> can we talk about the fact that I don't have skin I have rubber it's so airbrushed like I must have gone over this with the smoothing tool like eight times because this is just it's not skin I blurred it so heavily. Like I have really freckled arms. I actually love my freckles. I was trying so hard. I was just in such a bad place in 2016. I went through one of the most painful heartbreaks of my life. Bad year altogether. And so it definitely shows like I see a lot of sadness and this it does make me sad. So maybe that's like what I was overcompensating for. I'm not sure. But yeah, I just, I look like an alien. Literally don't know her. Next we have like December of 2016. It's the same thing. It's like this just so severely face tuned. Blurred my legs, blurred my face. I remember in particular, I spent so long face tuning this. I face tuned all of like the dust spots off of my mirror. And then also like, yeah, my face, you can see like the corners of my lips were like, I blurred it like, and wasn't very good at it. So it just kind of like took off the corners of my mouth. I remember blurring out my stretch marks. I was like really insecure. I've had stretch marks on the inside of my thighs since like high school. I was trying so 
damn hard. I still got a lot of love for her. It's just like, girl, you really, really need to chill with the face tune. I remember this one in particular because I went to the mall with Drew. This is like right around the time where we started hanging out, but we weren't like officially dating yet. So this is March of 2017. We were like 10 days away from becoming boyfriend, girlfriend at this point. So I was just like a ball of insecurity for some reason, which is so funny because by this point, by the time Drew and I had started dating, we had known each other for eight years. So like he had seen me in all of my highs and lows and we had been friends for a really long time. We had been coworkers. So I don't know why I was like so insecure, but it was just sort of like getting into a new relationship. Like I was carrying over things from past relationships. And I do remember taking this photo and absolutely face tuning it so that my body again looked smaller, face tuned my legs. I think I even face tuned my feet, which is weird. Again, sometimes I would change the color of my hair. Just like so bizarre. Like why would I want to look like not me? Just so weird. These last two are bathing suit photos. And I want to touch on these last because they are sort of the most mind blowing to me. This one in particular, I remember taking this photo and I was so upset because I was like, that can't be what my body looks like. Which by the way, I was probably like a size six in this photo. And I remember just feeling so insecure about the fact that like I had a little bit of fold over in my back and that like my butt didn't look the way I wanted it to. And I always remembered someone telling me when I was very young, which is a really weird thing to say, that I had like childbearing hips. And I was like, w I mean, as an adult, that's so inappropriate to say to a child, but someone's like, you've got those childbearing hips. It always stuck with me. Love handles have always been like an insecurity of mine. And I remember getting back to this photo and going to work. Like I was like, I'm gonna make my butt look juicier. I'm gonna make my hips look smaller. I'm gonna like absolutely blur out every single little thing. I think I even used the patch tool on like this little folded part of my lower back so that you couldn't see that my skin folded over a little bit. And it's just like, and then I posted it and there are all these comments like, yes, body goals, like you look amazing, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, that's not what my body looked like. And I wish that I would have kept all of these photos from before I facetuned them so you could see a difference, but I don't have those. And regardless, like, sure, this photo is cute, but this is just, it's fake. It's not real. It's literally not real. And I don't know what was going through my head. And then last but not least, again, this other one. This one is so extreme. I, I can't believe I'm calling myself out for this. I literally facetuned the concrete. <laughs> I facetuned the concrete. This probably took me like an hour to do because as you can see underneath my arms right here, I had like water spots because I was obviously like swimming in the pool and I wanted those to not show in the photo because I felt like they ruined the aesthetic of the photo. So I facetuned them. You can clearly see like where the actual concrete ends and then where I just started face tuning it. I did it all the way up to my butt. What the hell? I probably also did that to hide the fact that I definitely made my stomach look smaller, definitely made my legs look smaller, my arms. I remember being like, my arms look huge. It's so weird looking back at times where you just thought you were so huge and like disgusting and you're like, you had no idea how small you were. The amount of face tune on this is absolutely mind blowing. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video and took away the fact that it's more than okay to accept your body exactly the way it is right now. You don't need to change the way your body looks or the way your photos look or the way your skin looks. I really wish I could go back and have a chat with that 2016, 2017 Carrie and just be like, girl, you're so gorgeous. Like, what are you doing? It not only created a false idea of what my body looked like on the internet, but it also created a false idea of what my body should look like in my mind. So it only ended up hurting me in the long run. And that's why I think like, if people want to face tune, absolutely fine. This has nothing to do with other people. This is only my personal journey, but it's so crazy because I felt like I could just never post the photo without it. And now that I don't do any kind of retouching to any of my photos, it's bizarre to look back on those and just see how far I went to try and be basically what society deems as a beautiful woman. When 98% or 99% of people, when I would have just posted the regular photo, wouldn't have even noticed the difference. Like it's, it was such small minute things that nobody would have noticed, but like it was so ingrained in my mind that like those couldn't exist. Can't have pores, can't have wrinkles, can't have any form of cellulite or hair follicles on your legs or whatever. Like I, I'm just, 
just so glad and so appreciative and I have so much gratitude that I'm in a different place on my journey now. I've done a lot of work for quite a few years at this point, but it makes me so happy to know that I can look back on this younger version of me with love and acceptance and just understanding. Like, I understand why you did that. I understand that it's not your fault. I understand that it's society and media and everything that's sort of taught you to do this. But yeah, it just makes me really grateful for the future and sort of the way things are going with unretouched campaigns and diverse models and just like so much more inclusive stuff moving forward. So it just makes me really happy. So with all that being said, wow, that was an emotional ride. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also turn on my post notifications if you want to be notified every time I post a new video. Let me know if you want to see me do more videos like this in the future. Maybe I'll react to more Facetune photos. I don't know. I don't know if I want to go on that roller coaster again. I love you all so, so much. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.